Hello, my name is Alberto Pascal, and today I will be sharing with you my solution on the page rank problem from the CS50 Python AI course. First of all, the outline, I will be covering a small explanation on the transition model, the sample page rank, and the iterative page rank functions. Starting with the transition model, uh, it is important that we take into account the following. We can have two different options of going to a different page. The first one being choosing a link within our current page, and this will have a probability of damping factor. And the other option, with a probability of one minus damping factor, is choosing a page at random. That, translating into a diagram, means the following. We can go to a current page with damping factor, to a random page with one minus damping factor, but each of these options have further options. So being in the current page also means that we will have to choose a link at random, and each link will have a probability of one over n, n representing the total number of links in the page. And being at the random page will mean that we will choose a page at random, and this means that each page has a probability of one over m of being chosen, where m represents the total number of pages in the corpus. And why is this important? Well, this is important because in our transition model then, we can state that the probability of arriving at the given page is the sum of these two options, right? So the probability is given by the probability of clicking a link that leads to that page from the current page, and the probability of randomly choosing that page, which is why in the code below is represented as a sum. As a sum. So first of all, we calculate the probability of choosing that page from a link in the current page, and then we add the probability of the one minus damping factor times the probability of choosing that page at random. Going to the sample page rank model, we will create n number of samples of random pages with the probability distributions from our transition model. And every time the page is generated, we will update the dictionary with the results probability. And we will do so by adding one over n. Now, why do we add one over n? Um, we can clearly see it here. It's because let's say we have a random page generator and we have already generated page one, two, and three. Each of these pages would have one over n as a probability, which n is the number of samples we will create. And when creating another random page, let's say we created page one, we would have page one, page two, page three, and now page one again. Updating the value would mean that each of these probabilities is no longer one over n because page one is twice there. So page one's probability would be two over n. Now going to the iterative page rank model, we calculate the new values from the previous values using the following formula that is on screen. And in order to achieve this, we will create the function called sum of ranks to calculate the summation part of the formula and store a copy of my probabilities to prevent messing up the values from the calculations. So the sum of rank functions is pretty simple. We only need to add to the previous probability. Um, we need to divide it by the length of the links we have there. And then, well, these are the expected results that we are about to see. So let's go ahead and run our code and see if we get them. So we can say Python 3 uh, page rank.py from corpus zero. And there they are, the exact same result. Well, there is a slight variation here, but it's normal because these are the samples which we're expecting to get at random, but the iteration values are exactly um, at dot zero zero one variation or less. And as you can see, we can also run these for different corpus and get the desired results. That would be it. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.